Hello and welcome to the Ableton Life Insider Tips. This time I'm going to show you the fastest way how you can convert an impulse preset into a drum rack. So for this, we first need an impulse preset. So let's just choose one of them available in life. And now what we can do is right click and choose group to drum rack. And as you see, for now, we only have the one sound playing the kick. But we want to have all eight sounds from the impulse slots. So let's go into the chain view and simply duplicate eight times. And then we need to turn on the in and output. And impulse plays only the white keys from C3 to C4. So C3, D3, and so on. So we first have to change the notes accordingly. Okay, and then we choose what MIDI notes should actually play that in the end. By default, it starts with C1, so we could just say we keep that and then choose C sharp one and so on. Okay, and now when I just play it on push, you see it's all properly mapped. And then if you wanted to make use of the time stretching capabilities, you for example could map the individual stretch parameters to the macros or all together as well. So we could just say like this. And then you could even time stretch the sounds on the fly. So I hope you found the tutorial helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.